Is it difficult to sell in two niches at the same time? You're raw vegan fruitarian niche and selling courses. Good question. I would never recommend anyone trying to sell in two niches at the same time. I would never recommend picking two niches. In fact, I would never even recommend having two products. The biggest issue I see, one of the biggest issues I see with new entrepreneurs is they're like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do this. And with this, I want to do this, 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 this. And with this, I want to do this, 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 this. And I'm like, okay, well, like, what have you done so far? And they're like, well, nothing. I'm like, okay, so you want to build like two mansions and you've never even built like a, a shed. You never even built like a little hut. So like people just have these really lofty goals and they think big, which is great. But realistically speaking, if you haven't even built like a, a house, don't try and build two big mansions. So let alone in two different countries at the same time, like two niches. Like don't try and build one in Australia and Canada at the same time. Just pick one niche, pick one product and build it and build it well and sell it and sell it well. Make sure your customers are happy and then expand from there. Maybe create an expanded version or updated version of that. But only shift niches if you're like done with the other one. I, I have an interesting situation. My situation is a bit different. Mine is um, not the regular. I started in the fruitarian niche, right? This is how I built my name for myself and built the following. And now that I've built a name and following in that niche and I made money in that niche, I started teaching people how I was making money in that niche. And so I still am in the fruitarian niche, but my product and service expands outside of the fruitarian niche. It used to be just purely about like raw foods, raw foods, raw foods. Now it's teaching fruitarians and raw vegans and vegans how to actually make money on the internet. And I, I say, I happen to do it in the fruitarian niche. You can do it in any niche you like. But what I do now, to answer your question, is it difficult? Well, what I do now is I, I give you guys a free book. So you guys can see my whole sales funnel process right now. If you go to fruitarianbook.com, you get a free book that has to do with fruitarianism. And so I can shout from the rooftops all day long in the fruitarian niche. Say, hey, go get my book, fruitarianbook.com, fruitarianbook.com, fruitarianbook.com. All the fruitarians, all the raw vegans, all the vegans that follow me, they're going to love it. They're going to think, oh, this is perfect. This is right. This is why I'm following Ted. So I'm not annoying them by saying like, oh, you should just learn how to make money and blah, blah, blah. I'm like just catering to the audience. I'm giving them what they want. They want recipe books. I'll give you a recipe book. So you go to fruitarianbook.com, you get a recipe book, you get a meal plan. Good, good meal, good recipes too, delicious. But in the back end, once you opt in, on the back end, I'm like, hey, do you also want a seven day raw vegan meal plan, like a bonus, a bonus freebie? And everyone who gets the vegetarian book is probably gonna want that seven day meal plan for free as well in the back end. And so what I do is I say, hey, if you want the seven day meal plan as well for free, just fill out a quick four or five question survey. And I'll, and I'll send you the seven day raw vegan meal plan. So all these people are interested in my fruitarian meal plan book, they go get it. And then on the next page, it's like, there's a survey. They fill out the survey. On the survey, I, I say, hey, uh, first off, like, why did you want to get the fruitarian book? What's your name, what's your email? And are you interested in learning how to create your own ebook, your own recipe book, your own meal plan, or your own online course to get into health coaching yourself? Yes or no? And another question I ask is, are you interested in growing your following so that you could potentially um, sell your own products and services online? Yes or no? If they select yes, if you select yes on, the, on, the, on that questionnaire, on that survey, you get brought to another page, like a congratulations page that introduces you to what I do with entrepreneurs. It introduces you to how I make my money online in the vegan niche. It shows you that world. But if you select, no, I'm not interested in being an entrepreneur. No, I'm not interested in growing my following. You just get sent to another page that says, hey, congrats, you got the book. Appreciate you filling out the survey. Have a great day. So that's how I can go into my raw vegan fruitarian niche and pull people out of it and bring them into my make money niche without having any clashes of, of interest, without like ruining my grid, without ruining my stories. Just keep it fruitarian, keep it raw vegan, keep it cohesive, keep it on topic. And then I can bring people into the, the other the other niche. So that, that's how I do that. Uh, and it works well. But I wouldn't recommend starting out by having two niches. Definitely not. I'm just trying to like be able to do both. Because I love talking about diet, I love talking about fruitarianism, but I also really love talking about business and making money. Because I found so many fruitarians are so broke, myself included.
And I, there was no education. There was no education to learn how to make money as a raw vegan, as a fruitarian. I was going to all these festivals, I was going to all these festivals, all these events. The topics were like how to have a great relationship and how to be fit and how to be healthy. And these are really important things. But there was no topics on how to make money until there was. Until there was. And when there was one topic on it, uh, my mentor, Joey B, taught how he's making money. The class was packed. The whole freaking festival was at his talk, learning how to make money. I was like, okay, this is like a really popping thing. It's really important. And I was there taking notes. And once I learned how to do it, I vowed to teach people how to do it as well, in the same way that I learned how to do it. So that's what I do now.